Hey guys, this is uh, part two of the GPS comparison I'm doing with the 3DR Solos. I finally got the MRO upgraded GPS on the Solo on the left. Also in that is the uh, 3DR Polymer Shield on it. And then what I did on the uh, version B, which is the Solo on the right, I did the cardboard mod on it, but instead of cardboard, I used a uh, a flash card case, and trimmed it to uh, where it would do the separation. And since I had an extra copper shield from the uh, first solo with the MRO, I went ahead and doubled up the copper shielding. So we'll see how it goes. I just installed it a few minutes ago. I haven't even turned them on. Let's see how it goes. So the controller on the left has the MRO solo with it. Solo gimbal not found. Okay. And then the one on the right is the uh, version B GPS. The MRO has five satellites, seven, Version B still has zero. MRO has eight. MRO is ready. At 119. It's about a minute and 19 seconds. Version B still has zero satellites. It's a little bit cloudier than my first video, but it's still relatively a very nice day. Version B has four sets now. MRO has nine, eleven, we're at one fifty nine right now. MRO has 12. I'm trying to get that glare off the watch. We're at 245 right now. Version B has zero sets. I did better to my, on my first video. Even though, like I said, it is a bit more cloudy today, but not really horrible. 14 sets on the MRO. Five on the version B. My daughter just got home from school, so my little boy is very excited. Five sats on version B. We're at three minutes thirty seconds. Normally, when I'm flying, I get about eleven to fourteen satellites after a few minutes. We'll see how many satellites I get while I'm flying with the MRO. 
but right now it's just on the ground. As you could tell on my video, there's plenty of sunshine outside. Six satellites on the version B at about five minutes, five seconds. Mama. Now, version B has never taken this long. I'm hoping that the uh, separation mod actually didn't make it worse. I mean, none of it's touching the GPS board, none of the dual copper shielding. eight satellites on B, but I guess the HDLP is not good enough for about six minutes, 10 seconds. There we go. So at about six minutes, 12 seconds, it's ready to fly with eight satellites. So I guess the MRO GPS upgrade is well worth it. I'm probably gonna have to buy another one. I'll redo this test again anyways and see if uh, it improves. Right now the version B is in 9 sets, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, it's been about 5 minutes. Took the batteries off. We'll see if uh, it makes any difference on the uh, next test. Same deal. Cloud cover cleared up just a tad, but not much. Jeez, MRO's already at 21 seconds. B's got six satellites, seven. Six, MRO's got 11. We're at 41 seconds. Awesome. 44 seconds. I went back off. MRO's got 12 satellites. It's just crazy how this time it locked on even though it lost it in about 44 seconds. And there we go. Minute nine. That's about why I used to get where I did the separation mod, so I'm hoping it went back to normal. Because the first test I just did was kind of unacceptable. But MRO's got 14 satellites and the 3DR GPS version B has six. Luckily this time I and Moreau solo that didn't save Gimbal Not Found. I took off the block that 
stabilizes the gimbal, so maybe that has something to do with it. But, well, hopefully this teaches you something, and good luck and happy flying.